This is my voice. Three days of having a sore throat. Thank God right now I can still breathe through my nose, but I can see myself going downhill. Good morning, even though by now it's kind of afternoon. My camera's charging, so hope you enjoyed this phone clip. Hi! Good boy. So first thing off this morning, I ordered Instacart. <laughs> oh my God, I can't speak my throat. I ordered, I ordered Instacart. I'm clearly sick. I've never used it before, but it's like the grocery delivery service because I need a couple things and I didn't want to leave my house looking and sounding like this. So this is our situation. There's like a $20 off your first order thing. So I got like $20 of groceries free. My hair is falling down. I'm just going to take the L. So I'll do a little grocery haul and show you what I got just to hold me over and tell him better. So I just got an easy lunch dinner option, frozen pizza. We love to see it. I got spinach for salads or to throw on a sandwich or with eggs, whatever I'm feeling. I got hot dogs, cause you can just throw these in the microwave and it's a good little snack. <laughs> I got grated cheese. So listen, <laughs> I say I'm lactose intolerant, but I'm lactose intolerant for everything except cheese because cheese is my ride or die. So I got cheese. I put this on quesadillas, nachos, snacks. <laughs> you know, that good 3 a.m. grated cheese snack. If you know, you know. I got almond milk because I ran out yesterday when making pancakes. This is my favorite vinaigrette and I accidentally left it out overnight last time I used it. So I have to get a new one. It's the Raspberry Marie's vinaigrette. I got some soup. <laughs> Because mama needs soup, her throat hurts. So first I got chicken and dumplings. Then I got chicken corn chowder, never forget. Then I got chicken with rice. Cats, get your head out the bags. Girls out the room, girls out the room. I avoid buying bread because I feel like I don't use enough of it to justify getting an entire loaf. But I got brioche. You can make sandwiches, toast, French toast, a hot dog if you're really desperate. I got three bananas, once again, toast, bananas. Or just snack on one, I don't know. I got me one zucchini. I like roasting these in the oven with some Parmesan cheese. Delectable. And then I got three Honeycrisp apples because if you ain't eating Honeycrisp, what are you eating? Probably a more affordable option that tastes just as good, but still. Gordo is making sure we got all our groceries. Does it look good? No. Yes. I forgot the most important thing. I saved it for last. I got ice cream. I know. Last night I wanted to place this order but I didn't have any options until today. So I just wanted some soup and some ice cream. So I got it. This is the unicorn swirl one, which I'd never had before, but it is cake batter ice cream with icing and ooh, animal cracker bits. I didn't know that. I just wanted the cake batter and the pink. <laughs> so now I'm going to eat my heart out of some soup. I got free tickets to a country music concert for my work. And I have like priority seating, like a table. And Kristen really wants to go. Ryan and I were just gonna go to be good friends and go with her, but I'm not feeling good. Ryan hates country music. I really don't know if I'm gonna end up making it, but it's at 4 p.m. It's only 12 right now. <sighs> oh. Also, I woke up and I had five packages at the door today, so I have this really heavy Star Wars one, this not so heavy regular one, and then three of these little packages. So I need to wrap those two boxes. Jesse the reader Snapchatted me and was like, hey, I'm sending you something, keep an eye out, it's coming today. And I was like, like Jesse has told me he watches my vlogs, but I'm still like, oh my God, it's Jesse the reader, which like we've met multiple times. So I don't know why my brain is still like, oh my God, famous person. But he's like the reason I found BookTube and I just love him so much. So it just like makes me so happy. And he's sending me something. So I'm really excited. Shout out to Jesse the reader, invented BookTube. Oh my God, I need some soup. I need to stop yelling on camera. My throat is beatboxing right now. It's not happy. I love my apartment, but the fact that I can only open up my freezer like six inches because the laundry room door is right here, fucking mint. Beating you up. Oh no, you tell him stop that. What, you smell groceries? She's like, did not get cat treats. I swear my computer can smell when I need to get vlogs edited because as soon as I am like two steps away from the end, making the thumbnail, it's like, how about I not work? Hello, may I please see my stuff, please? But anyway, I made me some soup. 
I'm gonna chug this with some water that I left over there. Retweet if you cried about how messy my kitchen is. Hey, licks not bites. Kids. Gordo. Licks not bites. I just uploaded my last vlog and everyone's commenting on it that it was animal abuse and I'm really anxious and <laughs> overthinking everything. The thing I wanted to do, what I turned on the camera for, is I want to unbox a book. I said I'll do one per day. I did one today for yesterday's vlog and I'm going to do one today for today's vlog. Because I'm selfish and I want to know what I got. <gasps> Shut the front door. There's no note. Hello? Oh my God, there's no note with this one. Dang, if you sent this to me, holler, because I didn't get a note with it. But this is The Little Friend by Donna Tart, I believe her debut novel. But Donna wrote The Secret History and The Goldfinch. The Secret History is like one of my favorite books of all time. And this is set in Mississippi. There's a murder. Typically this would not interest me, but I love Donna Tartt's writing so much. I want to give this one a shot. For the rest of her life, Charlotte Cleave would blame herself for her son's death because she had decided to have the Mother's Day dinner at six in the evening instead of noon after church, which is when the Cleaves usually had it. Like her intro lines always just make me go like, ah, it's gonna be a good book. I love it, thank you so much. I just want to crawl up and read this, but I'm gonna give some pets to my good boy. He's so good. He's a very good boy. Ah, we love to see it. Who knocked that tuna down? Uh-huh, walk away. Wow. Wow. Am I watching Narnia for the third time this weekend? That would be a yes, but mind your business. Hello, remote's not working. Are you so excited? They're like, no, we're hungry. I've been laying in bed all day because I don't want to talk. <laughs> I just want to watch YouTube videos. I have pizza in the oven for dinner. Now I'm gonna watch my movie and relax before I have to go back to work because mama needs to get better. I made it to page 90. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. That's really how I feel about it. It's just all the thoughts you're having, I'm also having. How many stars, Gordo? Three? Oh, two. I feel like I'm just vlogging so I can put more clips in, but like, do I have anything of substance to say right now? No. Am I excited to go to work tomorrow? No. Someone said there's gonna be like flurries, not to be triggered, frozen lingo, but someone said like wintry mix on Monday or Tuesday. What day is that? Cause I'm trying to get it to be cold. I'm sweating. Hey Siri, what's the weather gonna be over the next few days? Up to 72 degrees. Literally who said wintry mix? I'm trying to get them to cancel work. <laughs> I can't stand y'all. Should I rewatch Narnia? No. Huh, I'm just kidding. Unless. He just said play it. That's not what he said. What'd he say? He said no. No. I just like, okay, I cried when I was watching Narnia at the very beginning when she discovers the wardrobe and like goes inside and sees snow. Cause like, this is gonna sound a certain way, but like the childlike wonder of discovering Narnia for the first time, I was just crying. I was like, I'm never gonna be a kid again. Wow, much to think about. Which one should I continue? Cause I'm enjoying this one more, but this one's more festive. The one you're enjoying. But I'm already more of the way through this one than I am this one. I know. I'll just finish this one cause it'll take me like an hour. It's set in Wisconsin. You should know all about this. This is your Tuesday afternoon. You know when you go out to the cabin and you get the dried venison for dinner? Yeah. This is turning into like a Christian book, which I'm not oh. mad about because I mean the 1800s, but it's like <laughs> on Sunday, we don't do any work. We just listen to the word of God. <laughs> and the book was already boring. And now that they're not doing stuff, I'm like, all right, sis. Why did Abraham Lincoln snap so hard in this picture? I hear one of y'all drinking out of the Christmas tree who's being nasty. 12 seconds later. You know what? I just don't care. I just decided. I'll put a bookmark in it and we'll read it one day, but I just don't care. Should I read fantasy, romance, or YA? YA. Cool. 
the next book we're reading is The Afterlife of Holly Chase. God damn it. I will never forget in my freshman year English class, we read a selection from, no, sophomore year, because it was British literature. We read part of A Christmas Carol during class. It was like my last class period before Christmas break. And my professor, Dr. Fields, shout out if you remember who that is, literally was crying while explaining the short story because he was like so in love with, like so attached to the characters and stuff. And I was like, I want to be the kind of professor who would cry talking about their favorite stories. Like I am kind of with booktube, but like, a classic story like Charles Dickens he was getting choked up I don't even remember what it was about I was just like damn he actually read that <laughs> so that's what I think of when I think of a Christmas Carol oh I took my phone out of my purse and snapped a selfie in the graveyard with my amazing new sunglasses Logan Paul is shaking is this a book about Logan Paul I feel like when your mom dies and you take a selfie in the graveyard This is like a classic Christmas movie from 2004. Yes, it's like it is. The, like a bratty, it's like, what's her, what's the bitch's name? This girl girl from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Faroka, <laughs> whatever. She just said whatevs, unironically. It's still better than Little House on the Prairie though. That feeling when you don't have a bookmark so you use a ranch packet from Chick-fil-A be like. So I'm shaking right now. I heard weird noises and then someone knocked on my door and I was like, someone's trying to kill me. It was just a delivery. <laughs> One of the packages I got was this, which is huge and very light. And Jesse the reader said he was gonna send me something that's not on my wish list. So I wanna know if this is it. And if not, I'm just gonna open a random present. Do not need scissors have sharp fingernails. <laughs> Struggling, got it. I'm confused. Hello? Shut the front door. <laughs> he said, this wasn't on your list, but you need it, fight me. <laughs> oh my God. I got a Frozen 2 calendar. This is going in my cubicle. Hello? That's so pretty. And then, little Frozen Funkos. Jesse, <laughs> I'm not worthy. What does one say when Jesse the Reader buys you an Anna and Elsa Funko Pop? My camera is about to die, but this is the most worthy use of my time. Thank you so much. I'm but a small human with sinus problems. You are the one I've been waiting for all of my life. Hello. <laughs> okay, that's all. Back to being emo. I made it to like page 55 of the Afterlife of Holly Chase. Do you mind? This is a whole Wendy's. Okay. It's all right. It still reads like a 2005 cheesy hello whole shindig but it's fine it's a little confusing it is not what i thought it was gonna be it's a couple chapters later and i just have to update because this book's sense of humor is so outdated like the dialogue and the references she says whatevs all the time she just mentioned grumpy cat and like grumpy cat's dead now this character just compared herself to a honey badger and i haven't thought about honey badgers since like middle school i thought this came out like last year but it's talking about humor from like 2011. it's just tripping me up it's really fast it's making more and more sense i'm on page like 98 now but i'm just gonna say i'm not seeing this being a five stars like i've seen a lot of people rate it maybe bonnie was right i will say it's very christmasy of course it's a christmas carol so it's the ghosts of christmas past present and future and everything takes place around christmas but it kind of has the vibe where like she dies and then she has to work at this place that tries to influence other people to do good before they die sort of in like this ebenezer scrooge type way and she's been doing this for five years and she's still like oh this is stupid my life is stupid christmas is stupid but then the next person that they have to influence is like the 17 year old guy who's hot and suddenly she's like i want to change i don't know what message that sends 
but in 2019 we bitches ain't changing for no man maybe I'm judging it too quickly but already I'm just kind of like Arr. but just for pure entertainment value it's fine I've read it a lot faster than I've read anything in the past week or so so I'm sticking with her Oh my god, who did that? I'm scared. <laughs>